Hello everyone, today we are going to have a look at Collington Tunnel. Oh, it's dark all of a sudden. This is lovely already. Um, this is an area I don't really know very well. Collington is an area just on the outskirts of Edinburgh, um, the south near the, the bypass and things. And this is something that has been popping up on social media in Edinburgh all over the place now because it's a community project that has turned an old railway tunnel that was not very attractive looking, it was uncomfortable for people to go in and, and cycle and run through because it just looked unwelcoming and kind of scary and things like that, you know. And uh, through this project has turned it into something spectacular. Um, so I've been really looking forward to get a chance to come out and see this. So, so here we are. It's been a, a funny time in Edinburgh right now weather-wise. Uh, we've had really, really, really bad rain. I'm talking massive, massive thunderstorm that we don't really get here. It was huge. It went on for about three hours and the thunder and lightning was like constant. It was just a constant stream of a rumbling thunder and flashes constantly. I've never seen it here like that before and especially for that long. Um, just a day or so ago, that was quite intense, truthfully and the dogs did not like it. So anyway, the ground is still a little bit wet, which actually I was kind of hoping for, because there's a part of this I'm wanting to see as well, that I've heard about. If it's if it's wet, we might see it. Anyway, I don't know where I'm going, so we'll try to find this tunnel. So this is the area we're at, the old Collington station. The railway line which served Collington opened on the 1st of August, 1874. It ran from Belerno to Princess Street, and was known as the Belerno branch. The line required the excavation of a tunnel immediately to the east of the station site and the construction of many bridges cutting in embankments. A road bridge was also constructed at the west end of the station to span the waters of Leith. So you can hear, can you hear that? Can you hear the waters beside me? So I could possibly start the walkway to the waters of Leith here right now. So this is where we are, station site, I'm assuming. That's where we're heading to, Collington Tunnel. I can hear the water. There it is, there's the waters of Leith right here. And if I head down this way, I can see a tunnel. Now this, like I said, this is becoming really popular because the work they've done on this is beautiful, it's spectacular. And to turn something that was really unattractive and intimidating to visit into something that is pulling people into the area to go have a look. That's good. Plus it's a nice area. Collington's a lovely area with the waters of Leith beside. Nice. So you can see by the old pictures that I will start to put in now that it wasn't a nice tunnel. It wasn't an attractive tunnel. There was in the 80s, I might have remembered that wrong because obviously I'm out in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, oh nice seat. Um, there was in the 80s a kind of project to give it a mural on it, but it was a very simple, basic thing. Whereas now, they have really, really went to town. I mean, I can see in front of me as well, people have brought their family and kids down just to go and have a look at the beautiful painted tunnel. You imagine the trains coming through here? This just opened, spring 2020. Chris Rutherford, a team of Edinburgh-based artists and our community are creating Scotland's largest heritage mural to celebrate this former railway line's links with our history. Now everyone likes a picture looking like they've got wings. And you know what, you see if you kind of just look at this first bit right here, don't you think it kind of looks like a golden snitch? Gotta get posed with some wings. So let's have a look at some of this here. Let's see what it says. Leaflets you can take away with you. Do you like it? Why not support it? We're still fundraising so that we can finish the mural and maintain it into the future. That's good. So you can donate to support the mural by text, nice and simply. Faster than the ferry, faster than witches. Bridges and houses, hedges and ditches. Looks like this goes all the way along, so let's continue our journey here. I'm, I'm going to jump back and forth because there's beautiful old artwork of 
of the area as well. You can see it's busy, look how busy it is. And charging along like troops in a battle. All through the meadows, the horses and cattle. I've got a funny feeling that this side here is still in progress of its early design, possibly. So it doesn't look like it's quite finished yet. I know I'm jumping back and forth to the side here. All of the sites of the hill and the plain. You know what we'll do now, now that I've did all that in bits. I will now edit all that together. Beautiful rainbow over the tunnel as well. This might be the longest poem in history. You can't have a Scottish artistry tunnel without some thistles in there as well. It's just so bright and beautiful and colourful. And the fact that this is a kind of community project as well. You don't hear about that sort of thing a lot now. So it's nice. It really makes it something special. Now, on the other side here, this is starting to pull in more of the history. Apparently, the Incredible Hulk. Frankenstein. Well, actually, Frankenstein is a little bit with Mary Shelley. It's a little bit of the local history, a little bit of Scotch history. Obviously, there's David Tennant with his sonic screwdriver. It's a beautiful way to just give this so much character. There's our national animal, the unicorn. You can't not have that. I'm quite upset that I'm not in there somewhere holding a camera, but you never know, maybe one day. A wee lad stealing some brambles. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles. And by himself, gathering brambles. Ha ha ha, yes, see, see, see. Oh, okay, so does the poem go with what's on the other side? We'll maybe have to start again and do it. Let's see if there's a bit about the dog. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes. There we go, see? That's actually lovely. That's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But this is beautiful. The more I look at it, the more I look at it, the more I'm just so impressed with it all. Look at that, look at that beautiful artistry. Just stunning. Is that pheasants? Wild pheasants there, beautiful. There's a river. This is just beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. You know what I think we'll do? I think we'll start again. And we'll we'll go through the poem in order and I will edit in pictures behind so you can do the journey with me but we'll just finish it off right here with this last bit looking outside of the tunnel with the train coming out isn't it just brilliant I was kind of hoping because there are parts that what I was hoping for with the rain is because apparently on some of the track here unfortunately I can't see it but since the train tracks were on here for so long there's some parts where the pressure of the train track has actually indented and changed the ground. So there's almost a ghost train track when it's wet because it dries at a different speed of where the train track wasn't. So you can see the tracks. Unfortunately, we can't today. It would have been nice. But look at that. Isn't it spectacular? Anyway, let's do this poem again. So, I present to you a poem by Robert Louis Stevenson in the Collington Tunnel from a railway carriage. Faster than fairies faster than witches, bridges and houses, hedges and ditches, and charging along like troops in a battle, all through the meadows, the horses and cattle, all of the sights of the hill and the plain, fly as thick as a driving rain, and ever again in the wink of an eye, painted stations whistle by. Here is a child who clambers and scrambles, all by himself and gathering brambles. Here is a tramp who stands and gazes, and there is the green for stringing the daisies. Here is a cart run away in the road, lumping along with man and load. And here is a mill, and there is a river, each a glimpse and gone forever.
You can see the guys are having to stay here quite constantly. This is because of the weather. The mildew, keep it nice and clean and upkeep. It's going to be a constant thing to keep this looking as good as it is. So there you have it guys, the beautiful, stunning and brilliant Collington Tunnel. With the guys who look after it and have made it in the background as well, so that's an added bonus. Um, it's definitely worth a visit if you get a chance to come out, if you want to get out of the city as well a little bit, especially if you're walking the waters of Leith. You're going to come to here anyway probably, so if you get the opportunity, come down, have a look at the brilliant work they've done turning this old dilapidated train tunnel into somewhere that's fun to be and just look, have a read at the poem, which must be the longest poem. <laughs> Longest written poem in history, really. It's lovely. It really is lovely. Well done. Well done. There's something nice that is a bit of a community thing as well. You don't get that much anymore. You know, you don't get that community project on this scale much anymore. So, something lovely about that. So, there you have it, guys. A little trip out to Collington Tunnel by the waters of Leith to have a look at this incredible art project there. I will leave the link to the website about all of this in the description if you want to learn more about it or if you want to support it because like I said and like they've said on the notes as well this is an ongoing project to just keep that looking like that that's a big thing to keep it looking nice and fresh so I'll leave all the information in the bottom if you fancy having a look at that but hope you've enjoyed this today if you have please remember leave a like leave a comment come subscribe to Clan Brinford if you haven't already, you've no idea it would mean the world, at this point when I'm filming we're about 20 away from 8,000 subscribers so I really hope you will come and join and put us to that 8,000 mark, but keep yourself safe out there, Till next time bye humans